Yeehaw! It's Nick's Wild History of Hollywood's West. Based on the novel by Edna Ferber, Cimarron was the first Western to win Best Picture. It's widely regarded as one of the most undeserving films to gain such an accolade, and I gotta say... It's boring as hell. I don't know what it is about the film. It moves along at a less than stellar pace, but it's not like there's a little going on in it. I don't know, it just seems off for some reason. It of course deals with the Cimarron land rush of 1889 and follows a settler and his family who take up in a frontier town, even instituting the town newspaper. Eventually, Indian attacks draw the father away, leaving the mother to fend for herself. The story goes all the way up until 1929, possibly the first film, and novel for that matter, to discuss the theme of the death of the West, a time when adventurers and gunslingers had to throw up their guns and retire, and civilization came to a land of anarchy. This would of course become a big theme in many, many westerns, and we'll see it time and again on this list, so get comfortable. This was the most expensive picture at the time, made by RKO, a small production company which has since faded into the past as a thing of legend. They're of course most famous for producing one of my favorites, King Kong, and I thank my lucky stars that this film didn't bankrupt them and deprive them of their true heritage.